In today's video, I'm going to introduce you to the world's most powerful meteorology learning tool, the Layered Earth Meteorology. Hello educators, my name is David Farina and I am an Earth and Space Science teacher, planetarium and observatory director with over a decade of experience in the K-12 and college classrooms. Whether you're just getting started as an educator or a veteran teacher looking to keep your students engaged in the classroom, the Layered Earth Meteorology will meet and exceed your expectations. The Layered Earth Meteorology can be used as an instructional tool in the classroom, at home, or even on the go from any internet-connected device using simulation curriculum's web browser-based simulations. No software installation is required. These lessons meet and exceed Next Generation Science Standards three-dimensional learning goals with a high correlation to individual state standards. Lessons focus on real-world applications, data analysis, critical thinking, problem solving, disciplinary core ideas, and cross-cutting relationships. Simulation Curriculum offers flexible subscription packages to accommodate any number of students. Click on the link in the description below to visit thelairedearth.com and contact us for a quote and ask about receiving your free trial code to get your own hands-on experience with this robust meteorology education tool. Each unit includes multiple lessons that provide learners with step-by-step -step instructions to successfully prepare them to make predictions, manipulate the simulated environment, and solve problems through targeted exercises designed to challenge common misconceptions. Exercise enhancements and student workbooks are also included. Each lesson is self-contained, allowing for the curriculum to be flexible and scalable. Teachers are free to use as much or as little of the curriculum as they choose. Visualize the composition and layers of the Earth's atmosphere. Monitor the whole of the ozone layer over time. Determine the relationship between atmospheric pressure with altitude and visualize Earth's pressure zones. Measure the atmospheric heat transfer and the concepts of convection, conduction, and radiation. Observe the effect that Earth's axial tilt has on incoming solar radiation and how this results in seasonal change on Earth. Observe the greenhouse effect in action and relate how the relative percentage of absorption, reflection, and re-radiation of Earth's incoming solar radiation affects Earth's heat budget. Observe the effects of the Coriolis effect and the intertropical convergence zone on global wind patterns and their consequences in real-world climate zones and weather. Describe and identify the jet stream using global wind data. Determine the relationship between global wind patterns, the jet stream, and the ocean-atmosphere connections related to ocean surface currents. Observe Earth's water cycle on a global scale through observations of evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and infiltration. Identify patterns in the weather related to high and low pressure, air masses, and frontal systems. Learners take on the role of professional meteorologists and climate scientists as they track storm systems and make weather forecasts and identify factors affecting Earth's climate and witness the destructive power of weather generated by hurricanes and tornadoes. Differentiate between the terms climate and weather. Identify key factors related to climate zones like the orographic effect and its relationship with rain shadow deserts. Visualize and classify Earth's global climate zones. Study tree ring and Vostok ice core data to interpret the paleoclimate throughout Earth's recent and distant past. Determine the location of land bridges associated with the Pleistocene Ice Age and discover how the paleo vegetation found in North America has changed over this time. Analyze the relationship between the sun's sunspot and solar magnetic cycles and how the Maunder Minimum became known as the Little Ice Age. Recognize how changes in Earth's tilt, orbit, and the precession of its pole relate to the natural changes in the Earth's climate known as the Milankovitch Cycle over long periods of time. Observe emissions of aerosols like the volcanic gas sulfur dioxide and their contribution to climate change. Witness changes in Earth's ocean circulation, atmospheric circulation, precipitation, and global heat transport as a result of plate tectonics over long periods of geologic time. Observe the El Nino-La Nina Southern Oscillation, the North Atlantic Oscillation, and the Pacific Decadal Oscillation and their dramatic global effect on Earth's climate zones and observe the effects of the Industrial Revolution's use of carbon-based fuels and the human contribution to climate change, its associated global warming effects 
and the subsequent rise in global sea levels. Analyze evidence of climate change by monitoring Earth's global surface temperatures, carbon dioxide concentrations, Arctic sea ice extent, global sea surface levels, and the retreat of continental and valley glaciers over time. Observe future projections and evaluate risks of rising global sea surface level on coastal regions and on the population centers that call these areas home. Reference studies conducted by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the IPCC, and other resulting effects like changes in global precipitation patterns, climate zones, and increases in disease like malaria and dengue fever. The Layered Earth Meteorology has all of this and so, so much more. I often use Simulation Curriculum's Interactive Curriculum Labs as one of the first experiences students have with new content. This lab-first approach allows students to come into the activity with questions that they can attempt to answer using the simulations and provides context for the subject during our classroom discussions and other activities completed afterward. I hope that you too get to experience the power of the layered earth in your classroom. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you don't want to miss future videos featuring extremely helpful instructional tutorials and product updates. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. The universe is closer than you think. <laughs>